Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Some of you may or may not have seen like this new Instagram story trend going around where it's post a photo of, and then you post a photo of a description someone gave you. So for example, if you don't really know what it is, I posted this Instagram story basically just saying post a photo of dot dot dot. Then you guys gave me descriptions like example, post a photo of when you were super sad, post a photo of your dogs. Basically that's what it is. So this actually kind of like branched off to YouTube and I was like really excited that I I saw this trending on YouTube, so I was like, I'm jumping on the bandwagon. I don't really know who started this trend, but I just know that a lot of people are doing it and I've done it on Instagram before. And now this is YouTube style. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing today. Kind of nervous because some of them are kind of exposing, some of them are personal, some of them are funny. Um, so yeah, let's get into today's video. <laughs> okay, so the first one is post a photo of when you felt happiest. So this photo was around the end of my cheer season when I did competitive cheerleading. I don't know the specific date. This was our banquet. This was my last banquet ever for competitive cheerleading and not the specific day, but around this time, like when I just got done cheering, like a few days after I actually went to California and it was just like that time area. I was just like really, really happy. I just remember this specific moment, like at the banquet, I was like with every single person that I loved and cared about so much. Like my family was there as well. And like competitive cheerleading and just being with your friends and just like realizing that the season over is kind of sad, but like it also, I was just like really happy. Like, I was 100% like so happy banquet and just like this time in my life in general post a time where you were struggling but no one could tell so this one's kind of personal because honestly you don't really talk about this a lot so I took this photo over quarantine this was like around June kind of June 2020 2020 over quarantine I was like still happy but like around this time I had like no friends like this was like right before we like moved and I went to school for like two weeks so I didn't really meet anyone and if you guys remember on my family channel where my mom like was talking to me or whatever it was like posted on 9th I'm pretty sure I don't really know the specific date but like around that time I was just like at my lowest and I don't know if anyone knew but like obviously you guys did because we posted a video about it but like at the time like people that I was friends with or like wasn't friends with I, no one really knew like I never really talked about it until like that YouTube video was posted but around this time like when this photo was taken one I didn't have any friends it was over quarantine so we were all like isolated couldn't go anywhere school wasn't a thing and okay next one is post a photo of a tattoo that you want it's so pretty I want one so bad okay funny story actually um, I've been talking about it recently my uncle he's actually coming in town on Valentine's Day and he's a professional tattoo artist like it's his full-time career I mean he does other things but like it's his main job and he's just insanely good at it and like does like big sleeves and like he's done my stepdad's tattoos all the time and so obviously a family member doing my tattoo I like trust that and like obviously I would still pay him but like I uh, kind of want to do it like something very small like these butterflies are super cute and I want something very simple it's not gonna be big like it's literally gonna be like a tiny little speck I definitely would get it here for my first tattoo like I always want one like right here like behind my ear or my ankle or I like want one on the side right here but I'm pretty sure that hurts actually kind of have my mom on board but mark not so much he's not a really big fan of the tattoo idea because it obviously is permanent on your body post a photo of something you can't live without <laughs> i know this is like kind of weird but my baby blanket <laughs> i literally cannot sleep without it it's not even funny if i didn't have it i don't know where i would be today <laughs> Like, it's so important to me, and I know I'm 17, but I could care less. You know how many other girls have, like, baby blankets and, like, stuffed animals still? I don't sleep with stuffed animals anymore, but I still have my baby blanket. It literally means so much to me. Don't ever come over here and touch it or do anything to it. Post a photo of a time you felt really confident. So, there's been multiple times, but homecoming of my sophomore year. I don't know why, but I just felt really good. Like, I... I don't know what made me feel so confident. Probably just like the hair and makeup, but every single homecoming photo that I took, I did not look bad in at all. And I know that's not really important to feel confident, but like I genuinely look so good in every homecoming photo. And that just made me feel really good. And I was like wearing heels, I had my hair done, makeup was done. Honestly, I was just like really happy homecoming nights. So I feel like that played a big role in why I was confident. I don't know, it was just like weird. Like I said, I just felt really good in the dress. And I think, and also I was on homecoming court. So it just kind of like, balanced out a little bit too, so. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Post a photo of your favorite cheer memory. I literally have so many, so I, it was really hard to choose. So I have two to show you guys. So here's the picture. So this is my actual sweet 16. My sweet 16 wasn't actually on my birthday, but I was competing at a cheer competition on my actual birthday. It was like a Sunday, I'm pretty sure. When you're cheering, you absolutely love every single person on your team. So getting a surprise birthday party from my entire team, like my best friends for the longest time ever, just made me feel so happy. And like, I know that's like kind of like a selfish memory to have because it's like about you, like it's your birthday. But like it wasn't even just like, it being my birthday or them surprising me. It was just like the fact that my friends were so loving and like they just threw me a party out of like their heart. And that just made me felt so good. And like, I was just so close with every single person on the team. And it was definitely my favorite team ever, like out of all of my time that I've cheered. And I just was insanely happy that day. Like that competition went really well for both teams that I like competed on. And I just, I don't know, it was like really fun. It was in Daytona and it was obviously my birthday and just like having fun. So the second memory that I wanted to share because I literally had so many, though this one also is probably number one compared to the birthday one because this one's more like cheering, I guess. We got third place at Summit. And I've been to Summit twice and I both, like both times I got third place, which is fine. I competed on my dream team. We hit zeros both days and that's honestly greater than any feeling ever. It's honestly better than winning at Summit. Like it's, yeah, it's cool to win a big cheer competition, but literally hitting zero both days at Summit is literally the best feeling ever. And I know some of you can't understand, but when I tell you when you feel like on top of the world, it's literally that feeling. So obviously it was my last competition. So it was kind of sad, but like I was in my favorite stunt group ever, like my dream stunt group. Cause I had literally my closest friends in that group and we all trusted each other and we just did so well and getting third was just amazing like for my last competition ever in the competitive cheer world like third hitting both days and like just being with my friends is definitely my favorite part like that competition was genuinely so freaking fun i miss it like it makes me so happy but definitely that cheer competition was my favorite and like oh it makes me so sad i miss it so much <laughs> what's a pic of the last time you saw elizabeth why are these so sad last time i saw elizabeth was july 19th 2019 Mm -hmm. It's gonna be two years, July 19th this year. Last time Elizabeth saw me, I was 15. Last time I saw Elizabeth, she was 16. Explain to me how that's possible. I'm 17 and she's 18. So here's the last photo that we took. Um, it was obviously of us crying. <laughs> we obviously didn't know it was gonna be two years down the road. COVID happened, so like she can't really come down. So that's like the actual last photo that we've taken. Like that's the last photo I have of her. Like, yeah, kind of sad. But yeah, July 19th this year will mark two years. And I'm hoping I actually see her for then because she'll be off to college and I'll be a senior. So time really does fly. Post a photo of someone you miss. So the girl in the picture, her name is Ella. Um, we don't talk like at all, which is upsetting, but it's because we do live like two hours away from each other and we both don't cheer. Um, but we were on Hale together. That was like my last year of competitive cheer. And I have never clicked with someone so fast than when I did with Ella. Like, she became my best friend in like a month and like she's honestly the sweetest, most genuine, caring, loving, goofiest person you'll ever meet and I literally miss her so much. Like yes, we don't talk like at all, but like I saw her three days a week and plus the weekend sometimes. I literally spent so many hours with her, been through so much with her, both crying, both tired, angry. Literally, we went through so much because of cheer. Because like cheer just brings so many emotions and like we've been through ups and downs. Not like arguments, but like ups and downs through cheer, like losing a competition. We've just been like on trips together. We went to Tennessee together. We literally slept in the same bed at Summit. Like we roomed together. Like we literally did so much because of cheer. And we also did hang outside of cheer. Like we made so many memories in such a short period of time like my core memories and like my favorite memories of like throughout my whole life are basically all with her I just cannot express to you how much I miss her like it makes me so upset because like she was one of my best friends post a photo of the third most recent photo on your phone <laughs> so here it is <laughs> So I took this in the morning, it was like 6.50. I sent it to my friend and I don't know why I pose like that. <laughs> post a photo of something you can't explain. <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. 
I don't know why I look like that. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. Who curls their hair like that? That's what I want to know. Why is it in- I literally don't even know. Like, I don't even know, like, why I took this or who it was going to or what the purpose of it is. But, like, all I can say is that it's a really, really ugly photo. Post a photo of you eating. I'm eating steak. <laughs> steak is good, so... <laughs> Post a picture of a photo that never made the Instagram cut. Here's the photo. This was actually a couple months ago, actually. I think over quarantine. Me and my friend went out and we like stopped on this like little road or whatever. And yeah, it was cute, but I kind of stared at it too long. And I was like, you know what? This is kind of cringy. And I just never posted it. Okay, so for the last one, um, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> Yeah. So those are all the ones that I'm going to be doing today. If you would love for me to do a part two, just let me know and I'll do a part two because these are actually really fun. Um, <laughs> I like reminiscing on old photos. They're pretty cool, I guess. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon back with more videos. Bye guys!